Hi everyone, it's Garrett here at Eurovision Ireland and we can you believe it, we're up to heat number three in the search for Ireland's first ever entrant to the Junior Eurovision Song Contest and look who I've managed to find, I found another contestant and I have with me... It's Michelle Moran Vaughan, hi my name's Moran Vaughan. Moran, how are you today? I'm good thank you, I'm very excited. You, you I'm telling you now, you have the most excited parents or yeah. mother at anyway, I'm telling you now, out of all of the ones that have come in here, you and your mother and Tanya are the most excited, I like that. Good okay. to hear, that's good to hear. Moran, what part of the country are you from? I'm from Cork, we're near Mill Street so. Okay, near Mill Street. Yeah. Neve Kavanagh. This is the thing, the connections uh, are there. There you go. <laughs> and some might say that Cork is the is the unofficial capital of Ireland. It really is. Uh, being a Dubliner, I can't agree with you, but I'll let you away oh, with well, this. We'll agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Um, thanks very much. Now, it seems as if all of the, the Junior Eurovision contestants, because you all met in here earlier on, you all getting on so well with each They're other. They're all so lovely. They're all really nice. And is this the first time you've met them now or did you meet them at some of the no, preliminary? No, I've met no one. I didn't know anyone coming in. It was because all the auditions were solo in and out. And, but it was lovely to meet everyone and hear everyone's songs. Everyone's so talented. It's just fantastic. It's scary how talented everybody really? is. <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe that you are a huge fan of a man who plays a guitar and who has fabulous red hair. Would that would that be right? That's, that sounds about right. That sounds so good. So who are we talking about? Talk about Ed Sheeran. <laughs> what is it about Ed Sheeran that you like so much? He's just so talented. You know, every other singer has their concert and they have their backing singers and their backing tracks and he's just him and his guitar. He's so simple, but just so talented. And is the guitar something that you like? I love playing my guitar. It's part of me at this stage. <laughs> so Hanna, tell me about this, so how long have you been playing the guitar for? I've been playing the guitar since I was in first year. I started it in school. There's a guitar teacher in school and I started it and I had a like a plastic string guitar that wasn't much good. But then I was saving up my money and saving up my money and then this Christmas I bought a beautiful new Tanglewood guitar and I just, I love it. <laughs> so are you on the guitar all the time at home yeah, and yeah. poor mammy and daddy having to listen to everything? It gets a bit annoying, Irish. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only an, I, I doubt it's an, I, I doubt it's annoying to them. But well, the amount of musical instruments, the, the concertina is another feature in the house, so it's kind of it's between the guitar and the concertina, it gets kind of hectic. Oh God! <laughs> you could almost be a full traditional band on yourself. I could. I could. <laughs> <laughs> right. So tell me about your song. What's the name of your song? The name of my song is On Myon Goira, which translates as the smile. Okay, so tell me, what's the, what's, what's the message behind the song or what's, what's the song about? The song starts off with, it's like, when you smile at me, it was great. And then it's like a couple and they get together. And then it kind of, it all goes downwards and spiral in the middle. And then they get back together and then they break up again. And then the very last verse is like, when you smile at me, now I smile too. And it's kind of like, I, it's over, but I loved you. And it's kind of strength at the end of the song. Okay, we're in that. Are we talking about some personal experience here now? No, is there no, a boy down in Mill Street no, now? No, there's no, there's no personal experience. <laughs> this is why I was nervous to sing the song to people because everyone thinks it's based on a personal experience. <laughs> so tell me about how did you, how did you actually come about by writing the song? How did you come up with it? I was strumming away some Ed Sheeran on the guitar, and then I just got bored of doing the same stuff, same material, same people, and then I was just kind of messing with the gu with the guitar, and I found a few chords that sounded really nice together, and I was like, "Geez, that that could make a nice song," and I didn't really think much of it, and I was playing away with it, and the next thing I had a nice melody written, and I added in a few words, and added in a bit more, and then all of a sudden it was this this full song, <laughs> and I was just I kind of I played it for a few people without telling them that it was my own, and mm -hmm. just kind of saying like, "Oh, what do you think of this?" and they were like, "Oh, that's a very nice song," or whatever, and they'd be like, "Who wrote it?" and I'd be like, "Yeah, kind of." I wrote it. And like, what do you mean you wrote the song? <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's how it kind of how it all came about. So obviously you're talented, and you didn't know it yourself, or you didn't believe yourself. So if I was to ask you, because there's going to be quite a lot of young people out there who probably don't think they can write a song, what would your advice be to them? Don't plan to write the song. Don't say like I have two hours to write the song. You kind of have to just leave it happen. Just mess around. What what I was doing, if you play an instrument or whatever, I mess around the guitar, but I'm sure the piano or whatever, mm -hmm. and find the. I found the melody first. I found that was the most helpful. And then once once you kind of have the melody, it kind of it has a feel for itself. You kind of feel that it's a sad song or it's a happy song or it's upbeat or whatever. And the lyrics kind of come come naturally themselves then. But as opposed to kind of trying to make things rhyme and make everything fit in a certain rhythm, it kind of it can kind of take away from the, the fun of writing the song because it's great fun. It's supposed to be, you know, it's great. 
So now, are you looking forward to actually getting on that stage and singing now? You know, as I said, in front of Neve Kavanagh and Brian Kennedy, who have both done very well at Eurovision. And so are you nervous about that or are you excited about that? I'm nervous about it, but I'm so excited. I'm really looking forward to it. It's such a, it's such a strange feeling, like a song I wrote in the sitting room is going to be, you know, up on a big stage. It's just, <laughs> it's really strange, but it's, I'm so excited to do it. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Now, you have to answer me honestly in right. this okay right. you know, I really, really mean that okay who is more nervous you or mammy and daddy and you have to be honest yeah. and don't be looking at her mammy <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe them maybe me maybe me I think probably me I'm probably a little bit more a little bit more nervous but a lot more excited as well because it's I don't know, it's when it's your own song, it's just, it's, so, it's such a strange feeling. Mm. It's kind of like, I'm, I'm proud of it, but I'm really excited as well to do it, you know, to, to get up there and to let people hear it. So can we expect to hear more songs from you in the future then? I hope so, so something that you'd like to do. It was so, it's something I really like to do because I really enjoyed the whole process of writing this song. So I'd love to do another few. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do now is a, that I'm going to let you remind the people at home the name of your song and uh, I let you then say goodbye to all of Europe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the name of my song is On Myon Goira, which is the smile August Slan Agspanet. Bye everybody. Um, I remember hashtag discover for your vision. <laughs> and um Dublin is the capital of Ireland, not maybe Cork. Country, maybe Cork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have this rivalry yeah. going on now, okay. Bye everyone. Slan.